Hey everyone, happy Memorial Day. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Pretty overcast out here this morning. Still remnants from Alberto. No rain. Although those clouds are pretty dark out here this morning. I'm at the north end of Area 3 right now. Right at the end of the little boardwalk. Still got some pretty good waves pounding the shore here. Walk on down to the beach, see what things look like here in Area 3. Definitely had some erosion here. Little bit of rain right now, just sprinkling. I don't know if Roy's up there in area four or not. We'll make it up there, won't get rained on. Rained out here. Nice little breeze kicking in. Whoa, windy. Nice gust of wind. Tide really came up here. Look at that. All the roots of the pine trees exposed. Well, half of the roots. This is area three. This is the middle of area three. Parking lot three, beach three. Well, yesterday we were up to nine sea turtle nests. We probably lost a couple of them. We definitely lost one yesterday, possibly two. Not good news there. It's so early in the nesting season too. And we're already losing nests. That is sad. What happens when the tide comes up and the water goes over the sea turtle nest, it actually drowns the little embryos inside the eggs. They actually breathe oxygen. And once the water covers the nest, the little baby sea turtles drown. So several of the nests did go underwater yesterday. 
one for quite a long period of time. So we probably lost a few sea turtle nests. Here's one here. This is nest number two. You can see the water made it up here. You can see the over here how high the water came up yesterday, but it wasn't very long. So maybe this nest survived, we don't know. Time will tell. That is sad. That's why they lay so many eggs. They say one in a thousand of these little hatchlings will make it to adulthood. That's crazy, huh? One in a thousand. Fortunately, this beautiful ramp is still here. Hurricane Irma destroyed it. You can see it still looks brand new. It's not that old. Fortunately, it withstood Alberto. Thank goodness. Really not much in the way of shells out here. seeing much of anything out here. This is area two right now. This is the north end of area two. I'm going to turn around and head back up the beach. I'm walking right into the wind here. So maybe we'll find something up at the north end. Still pretty rough out there. The rangers, park rangers, said there was no sea turtle crawls last night. I'm sure it was just too rough. Although, I don't know if, you know, Rough waters deter a sea turtle from crawling on shore to nest. Probably not. I guess when those eggs are ready to pop out, it doesn't matter what the weather is. no shells out here in front of me a lot of broken stuff up at the high water mark here that water is really churned up A week ago, it was gorgeous. Hopefully, we won't have any more storms for a little while. Still got that barge anchored way offshore. I don't know if you can see it there by the tip of my finger. I don't know what the storm did to Wiggins Pass. They've been dredging it for almost a month now. It's probably a mess again. But look at how these roots all got exposed here. Hopefully these trees won't fall over, these big Australian pines.
little blue sky peeking through there. There's my footprints in the sands. <laughs> Guessing our friends Scott and Linda are out on the beach already, doing some shelling. They try to get out here early and beat me to all the good shells. Shame on them. Did you catch the video from yesterday evening? That was amazing. What a difference it made, huh? It was beautiful last night compared to yesterday morning. There's a little baby horseshoe crab. Little baby horseshoe crab. Unfortunately, this is a dead one. It's not this, just the shell. It's a dead little horseshoe crab, sad. horseshoe crab. I actually saw several horseshoe crabs, dead horseshoe crabs that washed up on the beach. Oh, this is where I came in at. Oh, there's another big gust of wind. Here's where I come in, right here, the north end of Area 3. That's a great little place to sit on that boardwalk and watch sunset. There's a nice little bench on it. Great place to take in the sunsets. The north end of Area 3, parking lot 3. nest is this let's see what number nest this is here this one was pretty high up on the beach so hopefully it survived this is nest number three hopefully that survived you never know Hopefully that nest wasn't underwater too long. Area 5 beach got hit the hardest, I believe. I haven't been down to Area 1, but I'm guessing Area 5 beach is the one that got the most damage, suffered the most erosion. There's a nice little cockle shell down there. Nice little cockle. Nice color. Nest number seven, that looks like it was pretty high and dry. 
These are all loggerhead sea turtle nests. Nest number seven. We had nine. Probably lost a couple, sadly. There's nest number seven. shells down here mostly all clam shells keep my eye open as I'm walking along here hopefully I'll spot something something to add to my collection When we have these big storms and these big waves, it's kind of hit and miss on the shells. Sometimes the way the tides are, are, are what, acting, they just wash tons of shells up on the beach. Other times it just like the waves come in and just scour the beach clean. So it's hit and miss, you never know. I remember after one storm, there was Probably three feet of shells deposited up at Wiggins Pass, right at the point. It was incredible. Three feet deep. You're just up there dig, people up there digging and digging for days, finding all kinds of neat stuff. There's a big cockle shell. That's a nice sized cockle shell right there. Look at that one, wow. That's a beauty. The cockle shells, pretty common. It's got something living in, something growing on there, barnacles or something. Huh. Kind of eggs or something. That's a nice little, that's a nice cockle right there. See Roy standing up on the beach. See our buddy Roy up there. What to say hi to him? Like Scott and Linda up there too. Another dreary day here. Expecting rain later this afternoon. They're calling for thunderstorms later today. I'll come out to the beach in the rain, but it's not a good idea to be out here when it's lightning. Not wise. Although people do it. Well, 
I am really, I am not seeing anything other than those couple cockles that I wanted to keep this morning. So far. I'm sure there's a lot of great stuff out in the water. Once these waves subside and we get back to our normal tides, I start finding some neat stuff. There's quite a little line of shells up here too. I'm wondering if there's some good shells up here on the beach. It's all mixed in with seaweed and stuff. be some good shells up here there's another one of our nests that's nest number four that one's plenty high and dry no problems with that one thankfully again we did probably lose a couple sea turtle nests unfortunately This is where I normally start my beach walks, but I started a little further south this morning. I started at the north end of Area 3. Just was curious as to what the beach looked like down there. blowing raining really hard down to the south there you can see it really hard Some heavy showers down the park shore area There's a few shells out here, but again, it looks like just mostly clam shells down here. Hey, be sure to check out my little beach walk I did last night. That was neat. Found a huge lightning whelk, a live lightning whelk. So obviously I didn't take it home, but we got to see that on the, on the video. A beautiful big lightning whelk. A pretty nice sunset, too, considering how terrible it was yesterday morning here. Roy just setting up his throne. Hey, Roy, good. A bit breezy. Nice little breeze out here today. Yep. A big black cloud went out over and no rain came out of it. went around us. That's good. I don't think it's going to rain today. Yeah, it's gonna pour later this afternoon. Oh no, it isn't. Thunder and lightning, yeah. Is that the prediction? Oh yeah. <laughs> well, right now it's, it looks pretty nice. 
Well, anyway, this afternoon we'll be dancing it up up at the VFW. Well, there you go. You're going up there? Um, yep, I'll be good. up there. Yeah, I just saw Scott and Linda, they're going up. Oh, are they? Good. Yeah, so it should be a good time. Yep, I'm going to catch up with them. Boy, last night... I walked. That's what they said. You walked, were out we here walked sunset. all out there, all yeah. out at the new on the new sandbars out there. That's what they said. Yeah, that was really nice. And was there a was there a big dip? Yeah, out? there's a dip. It gets up to oh, at low tide, it gets up almost right about here. Huh, I wonder if I thought that might fill in a little bit with all those waves. It probably will. Was there a steep bank? Did it? Get oh up? yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It's a pretty good drop off where yeah. they're piling the sand, but yeah, a lot of neat stuff out there. Good. Oh, did you already? Take your walk up to the pass. Yeah, I had my walk up the pass and down this way. And well, let me go. I'm going to go catch up with them. Well, that, you know, when we were there yesterday, boy, did that eat away. Where you were standing has gone. It's all gone. All the posts are falling yeah, down. That's long gone. Oh, you were down. down yeah. looked at it. Oh, last night you saw yeah. it. Yeah. That was amazing. <laughs> Boy, yeah. those waves were crashing in there, weren't they? Yep. Yeah, the beach got tore up pretty bad. That was quite something. Let me, I want to catch up with them. I'll be back, all right? Hey, good show. All right. Happy good, Memorial good Day. Good to see you. Same to you, Rob. <laughs> good to see you. Now our trip back is part of the case. Good morning. Good morning. I'm coming back here the first time yesterday. Oh, good morning. Just to meet you. Well, here I am, and you are? I'm Susan Bain. Susan, hi, Bane. Uh -huh. Hi, Susan. How are you? This is my husband, Alan. Alan, how are you doing? Welcome, hi. welcome, hi. welcome. Oh, my first hug of the day, oh. and the best, the best hug of the day. He loves his hugs. <laughs> Guess what? You called me and told me I was the first one to get your book. Oh, really? That's yeah, right. I'm Susan Bane. Susan, yeah, you yeah. were the first subscriber. That's, That's it. That's right. Hey, the book oh. is coming along too. I talked to the girl <laughs> doing the typing yesterday, and. We're getting it all together, so it should be up wait. to the printers pretty soon. Oh, well, that's wait. great. Yep. Yeah, I just left here last night when you got here. Ah. Uh, I wanted to go on the table. Hey, how are you, big didn't. boy? This is my husband, Alan. Alan, Alan. Alan. Yeah, Alan. nice to see you. You know Rob? Uh, yeah, well, how are you doing, Alan? Good, good to meet you. Yep. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He was here right after we left. I wanted to go on the sandbar, and I went. Oh. Last night? Yeah. Yeah. So. Did you go I mean, out there? No. No. <laughs> and then when we was leaving, you come in, and what did you find on the sandbar? Oh yeah. Lightning that, shell. That big, huge lightning well. It was huge. Yeah. Oh, really? It was on alive though, but it was yeah. huge. Yeah. No, yeah. It was a live one, then he found a small one. Yeah. Oh, you, you got him. Huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. You it was worth it. it. I'm gonna go catch up yeah. with Scott and Linda. I'll be back All to right, talk with Roy. Nice meeting you. <laughs> nice meeting you. <laughs> Finally. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Oh, that is so cool. When we meet people that have watched us on Facebook, they come out here and they go out of their way to come out here and say hi. That is just amazing. Well, this is the part of the beach that got hit really hard. Some big piece of concrete washed up here. Oh, wow, that is a piece of wood. That is a piece of almost petrified wood. Look at that. That's an old big piece of a tree that washed up here. Wow. Looks like concrete from over here. Man, but that's pretty darn heavy. I want to catch up with Scott and Linda, see if they found anything. They're doing a pretty good job of scouring the beach here and taking all my shells. But yeah, last night, you got to watch the video. It was a super low tide. We we're able to walk out here onto these new sandbars. Very interesting. Everybody's been wondering what that dredge pumping all the sand out there is doing. Well, watch that video and you'll see the results of it probably help protect the beach a little bit too. Well, I'm not seeing any conks out here. 
Usually we'll find a couple conks. Kitten's paws, there's a kitten paw. Those are, those are neat little shells. All the cat lovers like these, the little kitten paw shells. Sometimes you find white ones, pink ones, pretty cool. Boy, lots of little shells down here. Oh, here's a piece of a, here's the back shell of a calico crab, also called a leopard crab. Look at that. That's the back shell of a leopard crab, or also known as a calico crab. Isn't that beautiful? Look through my videos, search through my videos for leopard crab, calico crab, and you'll see some video of these guys. Beautiful little crabs, beautiful. Lots of little slipper shells down here on the beach. Lots and lots of slippers. We always see lots of slipper shells. I'll flip it over, show you why they call it a slipper. See how it looks like a little slipper when you turn it over? Slipper shell. Always like sharing those with our viewers. I know there's a lot of first timers here. Also another common shell is the worm shell. Always, always find worm shells on the beach. These are worm shells. This actually has a little more of the shell on it. Sometimes they can get pretty big. There's the tip over here by my thumb. Worm shells. Those are always neat. Here's another one. Very common, the worm shells. Remember I showed you some big cockle shells earlier? Well, you can find some little cockle shells too. There's a little cockle shell. Find these cockles in all sizes. Same thing goes for the worm shells. Oh, there's a little tiny one. There's a little baby cockle shell. Find all kinds of neat things here. It's not just all about the big shells. I am constantly telling people, the more you look, the slower you walk, the more you're gonna find. It's not always about those big giant shells. So there's another nice little cockle down there. Actually, yeah, that's a cockle. The cockles have those deep ridges. I don't know if that's a scallop or a cockle. Nice little one. A lot of times in these clumps of seaweed, you'll find a really nice shell just tangled up in it. So don't overlook these big chunks of seaweed. I had a friend, one of our friends, Astrid, found a beautiful lightning whelk in one of these pieces of seaweed. Sometimes you might find, you might even get lucky, find a little seahorse. Gosh, there is a ton of shells out here little shells really hard to see them all there's so many of them 
Little jewel box shells. There's a little jewel box. More cockle shells. Nice cockle right there. It's a really nice cockle shell. Give you a quick look around. Got to straighten up here. <laughs> Getting old. You can see how much beach got washed away. It's really bad. So I get a little farther north. This area got hit the worst. There's a little. What's that, a fighting conch or a crown conch? I think that's a little crown conch, an old crown conch. Well, maybe a fighting conch. It's hard to tell when it's that small. Nice little shell though, pretty worn. I just kind of rolled up in the waves. south down the beach. Hey, quick reminder, nobody pays me to come out and do these beach walks. I love sharing our beaches with you. Our beautiful state park here, but just like you, I always got the bills to pay. And if you want to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. You can find my PayPal account in the description of this post. For those of you that have made a little contribution, thank you so much. Every little bit helps. Wow, here's a big piece of coral. Look at that. the size of that piece of coral. Wow. That's huge. Very, very nice. If you're into coral, that'd make a nice addition to your collection. Wow. Rooted one of our little shell trees there yesterday's storm. Darn it. Here's a little scallop. A little orange and yellow scallop shell. Nice little shell. Lots of scallops, all different colors, scallops on the beach. Trying to find something nice to hang on the shell tree this morning. Something to honor all of the heroes that died in our wars. Sacrificed their lives for our freedom, God bless them. Love to find a nice shell to hang for them this morning. Look at this beach. It is gone here. This is area this was area five beach. Not much left of it now, huh?
terrible. That's the way Mother Nature rolls. Take the good with the bad. You watched our beach walk yesterday, my beach walk, and saw Roy. The last time you saw Roy, he was standing up here. He was actually standing out here. It's gone where he was standing. He was standing right about where I am right now. About that high. Look at that, it's all gone. Totally washed away. soon these big stumps are probably going to fall into the into the water here it hurts to see the beach like this but you just got to accept it it's a part of it's a part of nature You know, we lose, we do actually gain sand at times. I want to show you something. You see this board down here, right there? That was the old access ramp to the beach. Look how much sand is piled up on top of it. That was the old access. There was actually a little ramp here to get to the beach. Look at the sand that got added to it. Unfortunately, now we lost all this sand, but it's a 50-50 deal here. Sometimes we gain sand, sometimes we lose sand. Just amazing. Looks like the tide might still be coming in here. Gosh. I wanted to take a picture of this before tides all the way up. Bear with me here for a minute while I take a couple photos. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I can only shoot video or photos. Can't do both at the same time. Sorry. Yesterday morning, when Roy was trying to walk around that tree, right on the edge of the, the dune there, that big ledge, this is where he was walking, out here, it's gone. The trees have fallen down into the water. Crazy. This is where I was taking his hand and helping him around the trees and look at that and that beach is gone we were standing up there we were that high and we were out here amazing absolutely amazing the force of those waves didn't put, take away the park the bench here. The bench is still here. I saw lots of cockle shells this morning. That's for sure. There's another one. This will be a good one to hang on the tree right here. A nice cockle. I'll hang that this morning. Nice little ow. Stepped on. Really sharp shell. But yeah, I'll hang this cockle this morning for Memorial Day. We're up in area five now. 
what's left of Area 5 Beach. A lot of our, looks like we lost a few trees up here. It's one of our little shell trees. Gosh, all the shells got knocked off of it and everything. It just got tossed aside here. Darn it. More trees uprooted here. More of our... Darn. Not good. Interesting to see what Wiggins Pass looks like out there. I want to hang this shell in a spot that looks safe here. Some place that looks like it'll be here for a little while is Cockle. There's a good branch to hang that on. Oh, let me come around this side of the tree. This looks like a good spot right in here. This branch right here. Right there. There you go. There's our Memorial Day shell. Another cockle. That shell is in memory and honor of all the brave men and women that gave their lives fighting for our freedom. Don't ever forget them. Remember something very important about our country. And that's one nation under God. Don't forget that. I don't care who you are. This is the United States of America, and we believe in God. For those of you that lost a loved one, God bless you. For all of our current military members, in future. God bless you as well. I'm going to take a photo of that. Bear with me. All right. Let's continue our beach walk. Oh, darn it. Somebody sent me a text message. Bear with me here. I hate when that happens. I got to check my text message. It'll be work. Hang on one second. Okay, I'm back. Nothing urgent. Y'all know what kind of trees these are? These are sea grape trees. Sea grapes. Got these big round leaves. These are protected. Protected by state law. But they're just starting to bloom. See these little, they're gonna get big round berries on them that turn purple they look like grapes they'll get they're about that big when they mature but these pods will be full of the little berries the sea grape berries people actually make wine sea grape wine i think the indians actually made sea grape wine our native americans I mean, we had quite a few tribes of native americans here in florida I was amazed. Google how many Native American tribes there were in, in Florida at one time. Most people just think of the Seminoles and the Miccosukees and of course the Calusas. There are many more tribes here in Florida. Florida's got a very, very interesting history.
at all the shells on this shell tree. Fortunately, it withstood Alberto. Thank goodness. Hmm, something looks different here. Something's missing here. <laughs> A lot more open here. Look at all this open space here. Wow. A lot more open here. See that ramp there? That takes you to the north end of parking lot five. Also back in through the woods to the observation tower. There's a beautiful big pavilion back there that you can rent for special occasions. This is a great park. Lots of things to do here. They got a concession stand where you can rent paddle boards, kayaks, canoes, beach chairs, umbrellas. Plus get all get some good food and drinks and even souvenirs. That concession stands in the middle of parking lot 4. So if you got kids, you probably want to get somewhere near that. Kids aren't happy unless they get something from the concession stands. They do that. They have ice cream and ice pops. There's a boat launch area here. You can go fishing up here at the north end. Of course, not a great day to fish. Fishing only up here at Wiggins Pass, the north end of the park. Lots of picnic tables and barbecue grills scattered all throughout the park. There's a mile of beach here. They're always looking for volunteers too. If you're retired and looking for something fun to do, if you like the outdoors, consider becoming a volunteer. Well, here's what's left of the beach at Wiggins Pass. Not much. Look at that. Not much beach left here. Got one of the dredging barges just offshore up there. That is a sad, sad sight. Beach is all washed away up there. I'm gonna take a picture of that sad sight. All right, continue walking up here. Check in with Scott and Linda. Hopefully we won't lose our signal. If I do lose my connection, just bear with me. I just have to get to a different area in the park to reestablish a connection. Look at that. The waves washed away the sand and uncovered one of the old access ramps. Ooh, that's dangerous. A lot of nails sticking up on it. Boy, there's a lot of cockle shells on the beach today. Oh, there's a nine-armed sea star, and it looks like it's alive. Bang! I hope. No, it's dead. Darn it. What a shame. Let me see if he's moving around here. No, uh, it kind of just went limp in my hand. I don't think that's a good sign. Let me see if I see any of his little feet trying to move around underneath. Maybe, maybe a little movement there. I'll put this guy back out closer to the water. 
the 9 arm Sea Star. Hopefully, it will survive. We have a lot of these offshore. Well, he's gonna kind of come back and forth in the tide here. A lot of shells, boy. I just saw a ton of shells in between the waves here. It's a beautiful conch rolling around. There's too many waves to grab them. I don't want to risk dropping my camera. Lots of gorgeous cockle shells out here today. Lots of beautiful cockle shells. A lot of broken shells too. Those waves were ferocious yesterday. There's one of the dredging barges up in the pass there. Holy Moses. Look at this. This is a, wow. This is a really nice piece of worm rock. Look at that. Look at those worm tubes. That is a great piece of worm rock. Excellent specimen. Look at that. Who would like that piece of worm rock? Make an offer. That is really cool. Beautiful little, oh, it's missing one wing. Nope, that's a nice little, eh, it's missing a little piece. It's a little worn. Beautiful colors though, scallop shell. That is so cool. We got so many beautiful scallops out here. All different color scallop shells. Even have black scallops. There's a black scallop shell. Boy, some big cockles all over here. There's another nice cockle shell right there. Right down there. Look at this. This is an old whelk shell. Look at how old that is. It's pretty much fossilized. It almost looks like a piece of coral. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Ooh, there's an olive. Wonder if it has a tip. Nope, this one's missing the end. Little olive shell. A lot of times you find them like this, they have a hole in the end. Actually, they're missing the tip. The olive shells. Pretty cool. Wiggins Pass. On the other side of Wiggins Pass, that's Barefoot Beach Preserve. This is North Naples, Florida. Right now we're at the northernmost part of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park.
anything interesting down here. Just offshore right here, out where all the waves are kind of crashing on the shore. There's a great big line of shells all out here. Just a little too rough to see them right now. But if you're really lucky, every once in a while, the gulf will just spit one out at your feet as you're walking along. There's our other dredging barge. Turn around here and start heading back. What you finding? Can't find a whole one of these to save my life. I found three of the uh, oh, here. Yeah, darn it. I know that's the third one. How's your moon shell hunt going? Zero. No moon shells. Zero. I haven't really found anything. No. no. Just oh, cockle shells cool. everywhere and piece of yeah. big piece of worm rock. I got a and, huge cockle shell. That's how it is. Did you see a big piece of coral back there? It's too big to carry. I think so. <laughs> yeah, it was huge. There's a few of them back there. One I tried to save for yesterday on our way back because uh, I didn't want to carry. Then well, I there's lost a big it. one. I mean, it's about this big. Oh wow. That's yeah, I mean it's a nice piece, but I don't have anywhere to put it. Right, exactly. <laughs> Wait till Scott tells you. Did you see that? Uh -uh. I thought he had a heart attack going for it. Did he get it? No. It's I there didn't... and it's just entangled. He's trying to pull this big shell. Well, we got to see that. Roots. Yeah, he's got to show it to you on the way back. I got to see that. Yeah. Linda says you found a huge shell under the tree, huh? Yep, you were going to be really mad at me for finding it. Under an area four? But I can't get it. Yeah. I didn't see it. I looked under those trees. I didn't oh, even notice it. It's, it's huge. Under those, where those two trees are? Where, the, where all the branches are kind of yeah. grown underneath. Oh, it's wow. huge. Wow. Absolutely huge. Oh, you got, got around the corner one, just well. in time for that. Nice. Really pretty nice. one, too. Yeah, that's Incredible. got some nice color. Lightning whelk. That's a good find. Yep. Lots of cockles. Tons of cockles. I think cockles, cockles might be part of that package. I think, yeah, I think no, so. Cockle. They're beautiful. Yeah. yeah, we've got some gorgeous ones. We found so many perfect, really nice. Olive ones. slippers, oh, gotta grab slippers too. Grab What'd you find? Oh, just little baby conks. Oh, uh, you yeah. Know, you find a million of these things. Yeah, it's amazing how they change yeah. colors. These little conks. Oh yeah. They probably got you know you get the all Any kinds of worm? weird. Yeah, you got a couple worm shells. Yeah, got yeah. an olive in there. With the just yeah. small olive with yeah. the tip. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. A little bit here and there. Yeah. There's not a lot out here, though. I'm surprised. No, it's crazy. I'm really surprised. I think low tide's going to be... There's a well, sea star just, right there. Oh, I've been putting them back in the water. Yeah. Crazy. It's a sea star saving morning. Have you been putting them in? Oh, gosh, I've been, yeah. I've, I've seen a lot of dead. I just saw a dead one. They've all been pretty... pretty yeah, this one's, this one's not very active. Nine-armed sea star. But we'll take him and put him back in the water. And please don't throw them out in the water. Just set them down in the water. When you throw them, a lot of times their arms will break off when they hit the water. Be gentle. You get out past this little ridge here. Hopefully, they'll sink to the bottom. The nine arm sea star. Yes, Scott said he found a lot of those sea stars this morning. This is the north end of the park here, the very north end of the beach. And we got our dredging barges out here in Wiggins Pass. Wiggins Pass is the mouth of the Coquihatchee River. You see this pipe connecting, going from one barge to the other. 
that actually goes all the way down to the beach where Roy hangs out underwater. water. They're pumping the sand out to Area 4, all the way from Wiggins Pass down to Area 4 Beach. I haven't even seen any big, uh, whatchamacallit. What'd you find? That's what you get for Oh, not nice. The other way. There you go. Nice little murex. Yeah. First one in the morning. I'm guessing there's a lot of those out here, and we're not I seeing can't them. Can't see them. Yeah. Without that sun, it's hard to see the shells. It's like no matter how hard you look, you always miss something. I'm gonna go back and see Roy, and I'm gonna go grab that shell out from under the tree. You're gonna go by water, I'll walk behind you. I'll show it to you. You will crack up. Why did you dig that hole there, Scott? I've told you a thousand I know. times. I'm gonna fill that in. Why would somebody do this? What is the purpose of digging a hole like this and leaving it on the beach? This is insane. We've got our sea turtles nesting now at night. They fall in that, they'll never get out of it. So please don't leave a hole like that on the beach. Have fun, do whatever, but fill your holes in. We're going to be walking back into the wind now. It's probably going to be some wind noise. The camera might even be blowing around here, flipping around. We'll see. Yesterday when I came out, yesterday evening, the camera was just blowing like a weather vane on the end of this gimbal here. Gimbal, the gimbal is a stabilizer. It takes most of the bounces out of the camera while I'm walking along. But if the wind's blowing too hard, it can't compensate for that. It's doing a pretty good job this morning though. You gotta check out last night's video. That was great. What a big difference from yesterday morning and then yesterday evening. Just incredible. Actually had a pretty nice little sunset last night. Lots of cockles on the beach this morning walking up here. There's another nice one. It's got a nice hole in it. Great one for hanging on the shell tree. We gotta hang another shell just for the heck of it. Probably a bit too rough out here to see our dolphins. We do have several pods of dolphins, several families of dolphins that hang around Elnor Wiggins. scallop shells down there in the water. Another little cockle shell. Hey, how are you doing today? That was great out here. It wasn't great, but it was interesting. Oh, you but when you uh, capture, I only caught the tail end of Roy getting Oh, knocked. Roy, yeah. And then it freaked me. Like, the last thing Rob wants to see is him get washed away. <laughs> yeah, it's like, he's a stubborn old guy. He does not I, listen. When I read your caption on that, I knew, I'm like, okay, I'm going to watch this with caution. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. He yeah. was like, he pissed me off. <laughs> it, was, it was a bit... I'm glad I was there, you know. He was, was, I'm sure we, we all he would were. he would have been standing there and eventually would have just fell in. That was 
pretty pretty petrifying. And I was at work, and I'm like, oh, I wish I could be at the beach. And then I saw that. I was like, oh, my heavens. And then last night, it turned out to be gorgeous out here. I, it was beautiful. I almost came down, and I sat down for a little bit and fell asleep. And I was like, oh, I missed... I saw. I watched this morning your footage. From yeah, last I mean, night. you could walk out amazing. onto those new sandbars out there. That was incredible. pretty neat. It's pretty rough today, but oh yeah, but gorgeous. Yeah, this is. Yeah, we lost a lot of beach here. It's crazy. A lot of beach. Here. Sad. And this is low tide right now. Is low, it around? Yeah. Well, it's, wow. It's on its way back up. I think That's not good. Low was at seven twenty, maybe. I'm gonna I'm gonna head down and see Roy. Yes, see what he's up I to. All right, see you later, Kelly. We've lost a lot of beach up here. The beach used to be out to here. Now look at it. Ugh. Oh boy, you know what, Scott? There's a ton of great shells right out here. Yeah, well, all right out here really in these waves. Them, I, I, think you, I think you should go out there and find them for us. I, yeah, you know I might. <laughs> Just as soon as you go that way. Uh, you know. I mean, That's when those waves, relief I was standing crowd. over there. When the waves would go out, I'm like, oh my god! I saw stuff it's just great, washing in. You just can't get in there. Nope. Not yet. And you can't. By the time you see Tomorrow. it, by the time you see it, it's gone. Oh, <laughs> it's gone. Oh. That's all right. It's still fun. It's oh yeah, out. absolutely beautiful. Hopefully, it's supposed to rain this afternoon. Yeah, it looks like it's in the south. Um, I heard you guys are going to swing by the V. Yeah, absolutely. we got to do a final walkthrough on our house uh, later this morning. Then we're going to swing over there and All right. enjoy some of that uh, barbecue, barbecue chicken. Barbecue chicken, yeah. I have to look at this only because it's stuck out at me. Oh, yeah. Dang. A lot of great cockle oh. shells for hanging oh. on the trees out here. Yeah, we figure uh, they got fantastic food. That pork was so good last week. Yep. We figured barbecue chicken's got to be good. Oh, yeah. Hopefully it won't be raining. If it is, they're just going to move it inside. But yeah, well. Yeah. Everybody's invited to the Benita VFW. Anybody watching, it's in southwest Florida. The ceremony, the memorial ceremony starts at 1230. And then after that, there's going to be barbecue chicken, lots of drinks, lots of music, dancing. Lots of fun people, including Roy. Little Rain. Roy will be there dancing up a storm. Scott and Linda will be up there dancing up a storm. Linda will be dancing up a storm. Linda's a dancer? Yeah. Oh boy. She can take Roy. Oh boy, Roy's gonna be all over Linda. Oh yeah, he's already warned. And Jennifer Ann's gonna be there. Yeah? Yep, she'll be he's up there. Up a fool too. Yep, she'll be dancing a storm up. So any of our Facebook friends that want to come up to the Bonita Springs VFW, come on up and join us. I'll probably get up there about 1.30, same as Roy. It's open to the public today. $8 for dinner. Great barbecued chicken. Cheap drinks. Veterans get their first drink is free today. All veterans, not just veterans of foreign wars, any veteran, their first drink is on the house. Look it up. The Bonita Springs VFW post. It's right up by the Naples dog track, the Naples Fort Myers Greyhound track. I picked up another cockle shell. I'm gonna hang it on the tree. I hung one earlier for all of our fall, fallen war heroes. God bless them and their families. I'm just going to hang this one just to hang it. You're allowed to do that. Where's a nice little branch here? There's one. Hang it right up there. Another cockle shell. And Scott, what you got, a clam or a cockle? It's a big cockle. Big cockle shell. Yeah. 
brother, for my mother in law. For your brother? That's sweet. You can see there's lots of shells on this tree. A lot of these shells have been hung in memory of someone that's passed away. Who's this walking up the beach? Oh, it's one of our bag ladies. <laughs> one of our beach bag ladies. <laughs> see what happens? Yep, see what happens when you move to Florida? You become a beach bag lady. <laughs> right. You're, you're not alone. Right, exactly. There's plenty of people. With their bags of shells. Yes. Oh, Linda. <laughs> I heard you're going to be up at the VFW dancing. Me and Roy. I got oh, my, my God. Roy is going to wear you out. He's going to give you a run for your money. Yeah, I can't right. wait to see it. Uh -huh. There will be video of that later, folks. <laughs> I better take a nap before. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, Jennifer will wear him out first. I don't know. <laughs> Fire him out. There you go. <laughs> There you go. Tag team. Tag team Roy. <laughs> How funny. Uh-oh. Feel some rain. Hopefully it's not much here. Some raindrops starting to hit us. There's the cockle that I hung for all of our fallen war here. Oh, this is earlier this morning. I'll, I took a picture of that. I'll post that. Again, God bless you. All those folks who died for our freedom. Don't forget about them today. That's the reason for this holiday. I will be chatting with Roy here in a moment. Hopefully it won't rain on us as soon as I get down the beach. I think I'm going to take the high road again. So there's no beach left here. You can see what happened. Check out the videos and photos from yesterday. No beach to walk on there, folks. All gone. You're going to get wet. He's as stubborn as Roy. Take the back road. He's as stubborn as Roy. <laughs> Yesterday, a wave went right over my head there. It was, I'm like, oh my God. I got soaked. Are you, you're looking for shells up here? Well, here's something I like showing everybody when I get back in here. See, we got lots of picnic tables and barbecue grills. There's a, a trail that parallels the beach and all along are picnic tables and grills. Great place to come and spend a day with the family. Although don't forget your bug spray in the summertime. And remember to keep all your food covered, even your 
everything, keep it covered. Raccoons will steal anything. They've been known to take purses, watches, jewelry. No beach here. <laughs> oh, is that where it is? That's where the shell is? Yeah. What kind of shell is it? A crown con. A crown con? Yeah. Big crown. You sure? I'm not sure if you can get down here. Yeah, there's no way you can get down there. It's all here. It's still caving in down there. Oh yeah. Dang, I don't want to get pile of roots under here, but I wouldn't venture out. There. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna. There's a way down right here. Yeah, you're all right here. Here, take that camera. Ah, that's Got like it. Fall on my butt here. <laughs> yeah. ah, how funny. You didn't show him that. You didn't show me. You can show me from here. here. Wait till you get around there and see how cool Oh, yeah. Wow. so long, the roots grew inside of it. You can't get it. That is, uh... Nothing you can do. <laughs> it's part of the roof. Look at the size of that shell. I thought I hit the, the tree is The tree has actually grown around it. I think it's a horse conk. I don't know. Is it? Yeah, it looks like a, a horse conk, but that was a big shell. Wow. A lot of years ago, probably. Bring a hatchet. <laughs> I thought about it. Bring a hatchet from home. That's a great shell. Wow. I'm not telling you where that is. That's in Area 1. That's Area 1 Beach, folks. <laughs> wow, nice find. I walked by there several times. I'm surprised I didn't see it. Ooh, look at all the shells that just got... Look at this. Look at them all. Of course, these waves are making it a bit difficult. These are all buried in the sand. This is a layer of shells that... These waves have just washed out. Look at that. Those shells are probably, some of them are way older than Roy. Wow. Yeah, bring a little, little saw, hand saw, or... You know what? A pair of loppers. Yeah, that'd, that'd, have, that'd have cut through that. I got a cordless sawzall. Oh, there you go. I'm sure the salt water is good for that. <laughs> well, I'll come at low tide. Yeah, I don't think. I think this is low tide. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> So we got to meet some new Facebook people here again this morning. Right. Yeah, another couple. Where are they from? Susan and there's that piece of coral. That's a good that is a nice piece there. of coral there, isn't it? Holy some cow, interesting that is stuff. Heavy. Oh, that that is a lot bigger than the one I found. <laughs> you see who's carrying the big piece of coral? <laughs> Yeah, everybody's noticing who's carrying that, Scott. <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta like it. That's called, that's called uh, Independent Women. Independent Women, that's, that's right. right. Independent Women Monday, usually. Uh, independent Women Monday. It used to be a thing back home. My <laughs> friends will know. I can't believe there's no moon shells here. I've not seen a one. Yeah, you, know, you got to look under all this debris. 
I've had friends find some beautiful stuff just tangled up in the seaweed. And then when we get our, the real seaweed starts coming up on the beach, you, that's where you might find a seahorse or something in with that. I've been finding a ton of broken angel wings all oh, up look and it. down. Just a ton. I've got two pieces in my yep. bag here. Little angel wing, piece of an angel wing. Ooh, that's a piece of one. Yep, just pieces just of them now, bit. darn. Yep. They're so fragile. Yeah. What tons of cockle shells. All kinds of little cockle shells on the beach. A little sunlight peeking out. Loving it. This is only my second double spawn. Oh, uh, nice. Kitten's a kitten paw. paw. Both paw sides. Paw. Yeah, look at that. That's neat. Yeah. Sweet. It's only my second one. Oh. A kitten paw. Ah, sunshine. What a treat. A little sunshine. You can see it's pretty cloudy. This is the tail end of Alberto passing by. Not much beach left here in Area 5, unfortunately. I'm gonna head back down, chat with Roy for a little bit. Goes the sun again behind the clouds. There he is. Captain Roy, was he sleeping? He was sleeping. No, he wasn't sleeping? No, mellowing out. Mellowing? Oh, I got a little, little drops of rain. I thought it was going to come down. Yeah, we felt it up there. Passed away, so yeah. well, hopefully it's missing us. Yep. Oh, boy. Well. Did, did you see anything interesting up there? Not really. Were you able to get around in the front of it? Yeah, going up, but I took the high road coming back. Yeah? Yeah. That well, beach is pretty tore up up there. Boy, and how. <laughs> those roots are really sticking out underneath some of those stumps. There's yeah. a huge shell under one of them. The root, the tree's actually grown around this oh, big really? shell Oh, really? I didn't see there. that. I'll yeah. have to check on that. Yeah, that was pretty interesting. Yeah, is that uh, one of those right where, where the you stumps were, are? Right where you were standing there, yeah. Where that all fell down, huh? Yeah, the one just to the north. Uh-huh, I'll have to check on that. It sounds like our ospreys made it through the storm. How about that? Yeah, I thought it was going to come down on us. It kind of started raining. I think it's passed away. Yeah. I put on my jacket. But They're saying yeah. later today, but who knows? 
I so, think it's going to be good for a while. Yep. So you're going to come up and see us today, right? At the VFW. That's oh, going to be yeah, fun. Oh, yeah. That'll be a blast. Linda's going to put her dancing shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> going to dance through both my shoes <laughs> when they play those jelly roll blues. <laughs> <laughs> No, so that'll be fun, yeah. Great day today. Yeah. Honoring all those guys that gave their lives, guys and girls. Yeah, I guess so. That's what it is, all right. Yeah, Memorial Day. Yeah. Fought for our freedom. Yeah. The ultimate sacrifice. God bless them. Oh, that's for sure. Boy, oh boy. You know, you always say what a great military force we have. Yes, we do. It's yeah, because of people like that that are willing to give their lives for our country. Yeah, we're sure blessed that way, I'll tell you. I mean, it was free from aggressors. There's always people around that would like to take over this wonderful country. Yep. But thanks to our military, they don't. Bless them all. Yep. Gosh. So anything, uh, well, let's see. Yesterday... Something, I know something exciting happened to you. You almost fell into the water going around the trees. <laughs> that was an interesting moment there. Well, it was, but we made it. We made it, safe and sound. Here you are to talk about it. And I it's... talked to uh, Sandy. She's getting the book typed up, so that's All right, coming along that's good. good. That's good. So hopefully that'll be printed here in a few weeks' time. And... Oh, Janice. Janice says, Happy Memorial Day. Oh. Roy looks great. Well, God thanks. bless him. Well, thanks. My gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We got a few people here watching. Anybody right. want to talk to Roy? I'm sure somebody wants to talk to Roy. Let's flip the camera around. There you go. Get it off me. See if you can, can you see that in the reflections there? Hey, Caroline. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> Hi. And Diane, thank you all for veterans. Well, thank you. It was an honor to serve. <laughs> a real honor. Corrine, happy Memorial Day. Well, happy Memorial Day to you, Corrine. That's very nice. Yeah, I think it's going to be a beautiful day. Tony says, Hi, Roy. Bless you. Well, bless you, Tony. Thank you. How old were you when you retired? Oh, I haven't retired yet. <laughs> <laughs> Julie says, whoops, it's gone here. Carolyn Connor watching. Kelly, hello, Roy. Hello, Kelly, how you doing? Jenny Lowe is watching. Hi, Jenny. David, thanks, Roy, for your service. It was an honor, a real honor. Memorial Day, Kathy. Good morning, Roy, thank you. Thanks, Kathy. Hi from Ohio, hi there. And Deborah, whoops, it's gone. And Patty Knight, love you best. Ah, uh, Patty, yeah, Kathy. Hi, Kathy, bless you, Mark. Ha, ha, ha. David, bless you, Roy. Betty Lynn, happy Memorial Day. Thank you for the service. Like I say, it was a real honor. I, I really uh, was, was blessed. Hi, Jennifer Ann, thank you for your service, Roy. Well, thanks, Jenny. Vicki says, hi, Roy. Hi, Vicki. Hello, hello, Louise, Diane, Ron Green says, hi, hi, Ron, Richard, hi from the OK. Oh, my goodness, Gail, thanks, Roy, Kelly, you just here, here we go, Patty Knight, boat is ready, hey, Patty said her boat. The boat, boat is ready. That's what she just love said. Gotta love hey, it. Hey, let's, go for, a, let's go for a cruise, Patty. Let's do that. Get off, get off me here. Patty said the boat's ready. That sound, that's great news. Isn't it, though? Yep. We're going to take our cruise. Yep, oh, you, that'd we'll be put fabulous. you behind the wheel. Yeah. <laughs> that'll be fun. Hey, Patty, when we go on cruising, we're sure, we're sure looking forward to it. Yes, sir. We'll take the camera for sure. We'll take everybody with us on Facebook. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll see you a little later. Look right. forward to it. See you. I'll get up there. I plan on getting there about 1.30. So. Yeah, me too. And I talked to uh, Scott and uh, Linda. They're going to be there yep. about 1.30. Oh, yeah. Linda's ready to for some dancing. Hey, we'll have a great time. Yep. It's going to be fun. All right, Roy. <laughs> okay. I'll nice see you later you today. Always. God bless. Right yep. Tally-ho.
good friend Roy. Gotta love him. Always has a smile on his face for us in the morning. 93 years old. He gets a kick out of the people talking to the people here on Facebook. The technology amazes him, but he's amazed at all the people that want to talk to him. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. Well, earlier, we were walking by some of our turtle nests and I told everybody that sadly we probably lost a couple of sea turtle nests from the storm. That's too bad. I hate when that happens. Last year we lost a lot of sea turtle nests because of Hurricane Irma. What happens is the tide comes up and if those turtle nests are underwater, for too long a time, the little embryos inside, the little baby turtles drown. And sadly, that's probably happened to a couple of the nests here at least. So we did have nine nests. Still early in the season. Got another several months of nesting season. So hopefully those big mamas will come up here and lay some more eggs. It would be incredible to catch one of them one morning early, a straggler on the beach. Quite the sight. If you ever come across them, don't disturb them. Wait, you just... A picture of a piece of the loop. Oh, yeah. He's got a big chip out of them. Darn. Best one I could find of the day. Darn, darn. And got a, that's, horse, that's a horseshoe a, scallop. That's interesting. That's quite a pattern on that. That is wild. It's just weird. That is weird. That is a very, that, that shell right there is worth a hundred bucks. Probably right. Because <laughs> you'll never see another one like it. Never. So, so you get that, that Dremel out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, start drilling those hard holes. Uh, That's All funny. right. <laughs> well, I'll see you at the VFW yeah, we'll later, Scott. we'll be up there in a couple hours. We got to get out of here pretty soon now, but we'll be there. All right. I'll see you around one or so. You're closing today or you're? No, just oh. the final walkthrough. Yeah, we got to close on Wednesday. You got to close on Wednesday? Awesome. Congratulations. So, yeah, we'll be happy about Big it. monkey off your shoulder there, off little your bit, back. Yeah. yeah, a little bit. Now the work bit. begins. That's <laughs> that's what I'm not looking for. Yeah, that's oh well. Okay. We'll make it good. Glad you're down here. Me too. Thanks for having me. Scott and Linda just recently moved down from Michigan. Awesome. Two new wonderful friends. Where's your, where's your piece of coral? Um, I messed it up by Roy. Oh, I thought you were using it to work out while you're walking <laughs> yeah. along the beach. Later. Anything else? Nothing? No, but I had to turn around right before that big mound of shells right there. So Why? He's making me go back. You go 10 feet further. I know. know. That's what I kept saying. Five more minutes. Five more minutes. That, ske that scallop house. shell was pretty cool. That, that horseshoe shape. Did you see that? No, I didn't. Oh, wait till you see that scallop oh, that Scott okay. found. It's pretty neat. Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's about that big, yes. but it's like a horseshoe. Yes. Very cool. Yes, that is cool. All right. Like I'll see you in all your glory Sounds later this good. afternoon. You too. <laughs> all right. Bye bye. Yeah. Scott's wife, Linda. They're going to meet, meet us all up at the VFW in Benita. It's open to the public today. Anybody that wants to come up, you don't have to be a veteran. Just come on up. Delicious barbecue chicken. I have a memorial service at 1230. And after that, great food, dancing, great people, great drinks, affordable prices. So Linda said there's a big pile of shells here. It looks like a big pile of broken shells. Yeah, it's a lot of broken shells. Little chips and pieces. Darn. Those waves were really hard on the shells. This is like a carpet right here.
shells. Wow. Starting to cloud up again. There was rain in the forecast for this afternoon. I don't know if they changed the forecast or not. They're actually constantly updating the forecast here. They can't predict rain. I think the weatherman goes, he looks out the window at the studio and if he sees rain clouds, he says, oh, 50% chance of rain. If he doesn't see any rain clouds, he says, oh, 10% chance of rain. There's actually some folks out here enjoying the beach. See the rain clouds out there. It's looking north. Right up where that tree is, right there, that's where Roy is. That's Area 4. If you ever come up and you want to say hi to him, that's the north end of Area 4 Beach. Right there. I started my beach walk this morning at the north end of Area 3. Just curious to see what happened a little further south down the beach. Looks like all of the beach has suffered, has shown some signs of erosion. Hopefully the next storm will pump some sand, dump some sand onto the beach. You never know how it's gonna go. It goes both ways. Nice little breeze kicking in there. This turtle nest was nice and high, so I'm sure this one survived. Nest number seven. As I said earlier, we probably did lose a couple. how high this water is, wow. Not much beach. There's nest number three. Hopefully that one didn't get too wet. me taking a picture, sorry. 
We saw lots of great little cockle shells on the beach this morning, tons of them. Here's another nice little cockle right here. This is about where I started this morning. Right on this boardwalk that's sticking out up here. That's where we took out our first look at the beach this morning. Or what's left of our beach. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take some time to check out all of my photos and videos. Remember, nobody pays me to do this. If you want to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. You can find my PayPal account info in the description of this post. Remember the reason for this holiday for Memorial Day is to remember and honor all those brave men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. God bless them and their families. And God bless all of our current members of the military and future members. God bless you all. Southwest Florida Television. I'm Rob Stan. God bless.